He was born in March of 1911 in Lafayette, Louisiana. He passed away on September 25th, 1981 at St. Mary's Hospital in Galveston, Texas. Mr. Feast got to Galveston in about the late 1920s. Somewhere right after that, he met Mr. Gus Allen. Mr. Gus Allen owned the property in the 2800 block of R and a half, which is Seawall property. And it was a very beneficial location because the rock growing between 27th and Seawall and 29th and Seawall was the segregated African-American beach back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. So this was a prime location for somebody to have a restaurant. Well, Mr. Feast wanted to get into the restaurant business, so he and Mr. Allen discussed about putting a seafood restaurant in the 2800 block of bar and a half. When Mr. Feast did that, at first it was called the Albert Feast Cafe. In 1955, he changed the name to the Jambalaya Cafe. And he was known for stuffed shrimp, stuffed flounder, jambalaya, and seafood gumbo. But the thing that people remember the most about Mr. Feast was the stuffed shrimp, because he probably invented the concept of wrapping the uh, shrimp with crab meat and bat putting batter on it and deep frying it. I think that concept started with him. But Mr. Feast made a, a lot of significant contributions to the island along the way. In 1955, he was recognized in the Galveston Daily News as a contributor to the United Fund of Galveston. He also had a service station on 29th and Seawall Boulevard. It was a Sinclair station, and it was a full service station. So you get, you get tuned up there, you get your car filled up, you get your oil checked, and you know you get your car washed, waxed, and detailed there if you want to. It was a full service Sinclair station that was there for many years. But Mr. Feast loved golf. He loved golf. He golfed in many, back then everything was segregated, many of the African-American golf tournaments back there and when he, back in that time. And he met a man named Mr. Charlie Shifford. Now, Charlie Shifford was the first African-American to play on the PGA Tour. But Mr. Feast loved golf. And even when Mr. Shifford won the Los Angeles Open, that's a, in 1969, that was a tournament on the PGA Tour. The Galveston News came and asked Mr. Feast what he thought about that. He had a lot to say about his friend Charlie Shepard, so I thought that was really interested. He was a hard worker, that he enjoyed life, and he, even, even with the circumstances that would keep, you know, with segregation and Jim Crow laws, that he still managed to get out and participate at his peril. He knew there were some difficulties, but he still didn't let that stop him from participating, and he, he when his restaurant, he produced good food for the citizens. And one other thing I'd like to say about Mr. Feast is, like you say about a lot of these African-American restaurant owners back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, they didn't waste their food. If they had food left over tonight, they found somebody that needed it that they would give that food to. And I think that's another thing that Mr. Feast would say to him. He goes, if you have an abundance, please share that with somebody else because that's very important to be able to do that as well. But Mr. Feast passed away in September of 1981 at St. Mary's Hospital here in Galveston. His, church, his funeral service was held at Holy Rosary Catholic Church. And they say the honorary pallbearers at the service were members of the Texas Peace Officers Association. So he was an honorary member of that. Even though he was not in law enforcement, he was still an honorary member of their organization. But he left a significant contribution to this island that people still remember even today.